What's up, guys? This is Kitas Proman. Welcome to Kenya Mziki. Who am I with? Yeah, with DP Mali. DP Mali. Yes, DP Mali. Or well, you can call me Mali. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why are you so happy today? Um, I dropped my new project, uh, Mali Music, today, mm -hmm. the 19th of July, 2024. Mm -hmm. And we just had the release party inside, mm -hmm. you know, so it's mm -hmm. it's been a vibe, you know, the atmosphere has been good, you know. Um, you know, I'm just excited that everybody mm -hmm. loved the music and, you know, we're having a good time, you know, mm -hmm. because, like I say, mm -hmm. Mali Music is everybody's music, you know. Mm -hmm. So this is our music and we're having a good time right now. Mm. So I'm good. I'm good. I'm blessed, bro. So you're having a good time, I see. I'm having a great time. Can I'm, you I'm sip something? I'm going to sip something. Right oh, now. shit. I know, I know the dollar. Uh. I go shy you. I go shy you. No way. What's all about DP Mali? So DP Mali is, um is um I like to say, mm -hmm. DP Mali is, is, is real. Mm -hmm. It's rough. Mm -hmm. It's legit, you know. Mm -hmm. My music is, my music or myself is all about my, my real ex my experiences, you know, I make music based on my my real life experiences, you know, and I realize that life experiences relates to everybody. You know, we all have to pay bills, we all have to wake up, we all have to do something, go to school, go to work, do the nine to five, do something. So my music relates with everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's everybody's music. So Deepi Mali is is real life. That's what I say. Deepi Mali is real life. That's nice. It's life. That's nice. Yes. And everybody can relate to it. Everybody. Wow, wow. Can you tell us more about your EP? So Mali Music is is an eight track EP. Mm -hmm. Um it, it was um it was most of the songs were recorded in Lagos. Mm -hmm. I think one of the songs was recorded in Nairobi here. Mm -hmm. Um it's an eight-track EP mm -hmm. produced by Nick Ames. Mm -hmm. It's my producer, he's a producer, mm -hmm. he mixes and masters is based in Abuja, mm -hmm. also produced by Apollo Skills, mm -hmm. is a childhood friend of mine, is based in South Africa, and um produced by myself. I produced three tracks on it. So Mali music is just, is everybody's music. You know, it's talking about love, talking about um, doubt. You know, sometimes we doubt ourselves as human beings, you know. We doubt what, what we're doing, if we're doing the right thing. So Mali music is about love, self-doubt, you know, self-motivation, inspiration. So Mali music is, is life. That's what I'm going to say, you know. So it's an eight tracks album or EP that touches every aspect of life. You know, real life stuff, love, love in terms of... Um, Celebrating love like anniversary, mm -hmm. love in terms of um, long distance relationship, mm -hmm. love in terms in terms of um, sexual love. You know, mm -hmm. we have to keep it PG for the yeah. for the yeah. audience. Yeah. You know, and yeah, it's, it's just it's just great music. You know, mm -hmm. on Mali music you have um, R and B, you have hip hop, mm -hmm. you have Afro beats, mm -hmm. like you have Afro beats, like the fella Afro beats. Mm -hmm. You know, you have different sounds. You know, and generally it's, it's Afro beats. So Mali music is is everybody's music. You know, you are you are you an independent artist or you are in a music label? I'm independent. I'm very, very independent. In fact, I'm I'm under my own record label, which is Mali's Music. Funny enough, so my record label is Mali Music, and um, the name of the project is Mali Music. So I'm independent, you know. But obviously, you know, you cannot you cannot do it all by yourself, you know. So I'm also open to, you know, you know. I I don't know what to say. Is it collaboration? Is it partnerships? But you know, I'm open to what the world has to offer me, you know. But right now I'm independent, very independent. And uh, checking out your EP, most of the songs you've done a solo yeah. project, yeah. but you featured somebody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who's the artist? Thank you very much. So um, on the EP, I featured um two artists. Mm -hmm. So I featured Dinley. Mm -hmm. Dinley is a very beautiful, talented artist. Mm -hmm. In fact, we call her the Chant Goddess. Mm -hmm. We call her the Chant Goddess. You know, mm -hmm. I I met her like like eleven, ten year, ten, eleven years ago, mm -hmm. and the day I met her, I heard wow. her sing. Wow. And I said that one day I'm going to put you on my music. Mm -hmm. And I did it today. Mm -hmm. So Dinley is beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful singer, songwriter. Mm -hmm. Then also we have Chidi. Mm -hmm. Chidi is a fantastic artist, crazy vocalist, you know, fantastic guy. You know, Chidi is a nice guy in Lagos. He has a couple of songs out there. Mm -hmm. You know, I feature. And funny enough, mm -hmm. I have some, I have like two other songs with Chidi mm -hmm. coming up. Wow. Yeah, coming wow. up. So, and, yeah, so, okay. so that's uh, it. Let me, okay. let me And let me. what's the connection between you being Nigerian and Ruby? You can't just come here by. What's the connection? That's why why do you love Nairobi? So um 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 so Nairobi for me, I've been coming to Nairobi for the past um three and a half years. Mm -hmm. So Nairobi for me, it's um it's Nairobi is home to me. Mm -hmm. You know, um I met a couple of people in Lagos a few years back, and they were from Kenya, and you know, and we were very good friends, and they were like, you know what, you need to come back to my home mm -hmm. and see. How Nairobi is so like three and a half years ago I came back to Nairobi and ever since I came, it's been it's been home to me. You know, every year I'm in Nairobi for like a minimum of three months. I mean Nairobi like three months, four months. You know. Why don't you just move over here forever? I'm a Niger boy. 
Omo Niger ni me. Niger no be me see. Niger ni moti be sika ABC. So I'm a Yoruba boy. That's um, that's the green. That's the green song. So I'm a Yoruba boy. Don't mind my Yoruba though. Um, so I'm a Niger boy, you know, and I have businesses in Lagos, you know. Man, the fact that I do music, I also want some some businesses in Lagos, you know. So and Lagos is home, you know. So in as much as Kenya is home to me now, Lagos is always going to be my home. Kenya so, has been a uh, home for all Nigerians, you know. Yes, yes. So for a long time. You know, see, the thing is that you know, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm, 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 I. This might be a, a hack, you know. I realized that a lot of Nigerian artists, when they put out music, they come to Kenya for promotion. It's a center of entertainment. Yes, they come to Kenya for promotion. I, I, I realized, you know, yeah. and I'm just lucky that Kenya is my home, yeah. you know, and I'm going to use that opportunity because if you think about it, right, Kenya music is good music. If you listen to the times of Camp Mula, you know, now um, Karun, Karun is independent now. Um, Karun, Bien, that's South Tiso, Nshiski, um, Major, I like Major, you know. Kenyan music is good music, you know, and um, I feel like Kenya is the hub. Even, even, even corporations are moving to Kenya. Even uh, some corporations have left Nigeria and they've moved to true, Kenya, true, you know. True. So Kenya, Kenya, Kenya is a beautiful place, you know, and um, and uh, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad Kenya is is, is my home. That's I'm true. Glad. That's true. You as an independent artist, what kind of challenges do you feel you face a lot than uh, an artist who is on a music label? So, so there are a lot of challenges, right? You know, so when you're independent, you know. Um, um, firstly, so luckily for me, I have my own studio, Mali Music Studio. So I have my equipment and everything. You produce? Yeah, I produce. On the EP, I produce three of the tracks wow. on the EP. Mm -hmm. And um, I engineer the EP. So all the songs on the EP, I recorded myself. Uh -huh. I didn't go to the studio to record it. I recorded That's all true. the songs myself, uh -huh. right? But the songs were mixed by Nick Ames mm -hmm. in Abuja. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not easy as an independent artist you know, you have to, if you don't have the equipment, you have to go to a studio and pay for studio sessions. You know, these sessions are like four hours, eight hours, and they charge a lot. Then that's one. Number two, promoting the music. That's the main reason. Going to radio stations, you know, going for, putting it on TV, going for interviews and all that. It's a lot of money. You know, it's only when you are, you are, you are blown, yeah. blown that, you know, you can get invited for some of those things. But as an independent artist, you have to put yourself in those spaces. Either you pay for it or you network to get yourself in those spaces. You know, also even with the sound, even with the, because I'm, I'm an engineer, even with the sound production, with the mixing and mastering, you know, there's some plugins, you know, for the producer, there's some yeah. plugins that cost hundreds of dollars, thousands of it dollars. That a lot. Yeah, that's, the there's a way your music can sound if you have those plugins. There's a way your music can sound if you don't have it, you know. Yeah. So being independent has been difficult. The major the major issue is finance. Pushing yourself, putting your music out there. It's not easy to, to promote yourself. I can tell you I've spent a lot of my added money on my music, you know, but if I don't spend my money on my music, who's going to spend it, you know? So that's the major challenge, you know. And, um, you know, you know, there are some platforms that will tell you that um, you can, as an independent artist, you can do this. We will support you this, we we'll take a percentage, you know, but sometimes some of those things mm -hmm. they're not they're not transparent, you know. True. So finance is the major issue. Finance, finance is the major, the major issue. Yeah, it's the major issue. Yeah. You as a music artist, there are maybe some upcoming artists who are looking up to you. What yeah. kind of advice will you give to upcoming artists? So first of all, I'm gonna say something, right? Um, I, I hope nobody gets angry with me. I don't believe there's anything like an upcoming artist. This is straight from Mali, right? Yeah. Because you know why? Everybody makes music. Whether you're upcoming, whether you are you are you are born a boy, whether you are Wiz, whether you are J. Cole, everybody makes music, right? It's just that different people have different audiences. You know, like the likes of Bonner Boys, yeah. they are selling stadiums, they and have also bigger, time. Yeah, they have a bigger audience, the like of BN, you know, they're making big music, you know. So for the guys that you might call upcoming, they're also making music. Our songs are on Spotify, our songs are on Apple Music and all that. Yeah. So I don't think anybody's an upcoming artists we are all musicians you know True. but we're just on different levels but what i'll say for other musicians out there is that just do your music you know i was saying something right it's better to try and see what com comes out of it than don't try yeah. because if you don't try you don't know what could have been yeah and never give up never give up you don't know what could have been you know i, I was i was um this is this artist now shabuzi that sang a, a bad tipsy song or a tipsy bar song you know this popular song he said he has been doing this thing for over 10 years but now it's popping. My first single, my first single was released in 2011. Mm -hmm. This is 24. This is 2024. Mm -hmm. So just don't stop. Make music and do music because you love it. And someday, your music is going to blow. And I tell people, mm -hmm. I don't make music to blow. 
and make music for people to subscribe to it. And what I mean by people to subscribe to it, for people to be able to relate to the music. Once I can get one person to relate to my music, I'm blown. Music is therapy. I'm blown. It's therapy. Funny enough, that's a line on one of my songs coming up. Wow. It's not on this project, uh -huh. but it's coming up. Music is therapy. I can be a songwriter, you even, know? Even though, even though I feel like Fela said that thing somewhere, I don't know yeah. if maybe we're getting it from Fela, yeah. if Abameda no, is, is giving it to us now, yeah. I don't know. But music is therapy. Music is therapy. Music is therapy. Which is your favorite song at the EP? Yeah, all your songs, but which is your favorite one? So, mm. on, on this project, right? Yeah. Ah, can I can I say my top three? Yeah, give me your top three. Yeah. So I love Impenzi. Mm -hmm. Um, I love Impenzi because um, mm. Impenzi is a Swahili word. Um. Mm. If I'm correct, it's like yeah, my yeah, it's my love. My love, yeah. And um on Impenzi, I, I tried to explore the different sides of Africa. You know, I said I I there were some words from Ghana, there were some words from South Africa, and Impenzi from the East, and there were some slangs from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So in Penzi, you know, I I try to like connect, sing, yeah. connect all like yeah. the east, the west, mm -hmm. the south. Okay, I didn't have the north, but like I tried to make it like an African song. So I love Impenzi so much, and also because it celebrates love. Mm -hmm. And it has a music video coming soon. Mm -hmm. So Impenzi is up there. Mm -hmm. Then it's all right. The mm -hmm. fan favorites. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves it. It's all right. Fact. Mm -hmm. The the party right now, they were they were shouting for it's all right. I love it's all right because it's it's a very relatable song. It talks about um long distance relationship, you know, what's the issue? Mm -hmm. You know, I miss you, you know, I love you. By the end of the day, it's all right. It's so all I love right. it's all right. And um the last song I would pick on that would be um I would say I would say Star. I love Star. Star is the first song on the project. And Star was the first song I recorded. Mm -hmm. So Star, Star is just like, you know, telling you that at the end of the day, whatever you think you, whatever your dream is, you can do it. You're a star. Mm -hmm. You know, it is it is left to you to actualize that dream and do it, you know. So at the end of the day, you're a star. So Star. So, so I'll say in Penzi, um, it's all right and Star. Okay. Yeah, that's track three, mm -hmm. two, and one, funny enough. <laughs> What's the story behind Mali Music EP? So um Mali Music um the EP um so I used to I used to make music a long time ago. Then um, I stopped because of life. And then after I stopped um um I took a break for a while. Then in the year 2020 I decided to go back into music. So I set up a studio and I was like I was going to work on a project. So I started working on Mali Music, right? So Mali Music is just so I, I like I say Mali music is everybody's music, right? All the songs on this on the on the EP, everybody can relate to it. So Mali music is just about that guy, that girl, that man, that woman, that papa, that mama out there, knowing that at the end of the day, self is self-love. It's just like this mental awareness issue. Self. You have to prioritize self. So Mali music is Mali's music, is your music, is the camera's guy's music. It's our is, music. It's that music. So whatever you're going through in life. When you listen to Mali music, you can relate to it. If it's a star, it's about self-doubt. By the end of the day, you can do this and you're a star. If it's all right, if you're in a long-distance relationship, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's all right. If it's in Penzi, you have been dating someone or you're married for three, four years, it's an anniversary song, you can celebrate. If it's I love you, it is I love you. Yeah. If it is bring it on, bring it on is more sexual, you know. Yeah. You, you know what I mean. Yeah. And if it's um, zombie, mm -hmm. zombie, now let me talk to, about zombie. Mm -hmm. I made zombie just after the the protest in Lagos, yeah. the protest that happened, the NSAS protest, right? Yeah. So Zumbi is a song whereby I was talking about, you know, the lot of issues are happening in the world, you know, and sadly we follow, we 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 are we are made to act a certain way because we have to follow the law and order of the, the law and order of the world, right, or of the country, right? Even if we might not agree with what the government is saying, but we have to follow it. So we follow it like zombies. Yeah. You get follow like zombies. But in the song, I was saying that we might be zombies based on that's the default setting. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you guys should not enable us. Yeah. Don't deprive us of our rights, of what is meant for us. Wow. We are supposed to be full citizens. We are supposed to live and be happy and, and I know, enjoy our country. So Zombie is, is more like a revolutionary song talking about, you know, this is a crazy world, but at the end of the day, I, I, yeah, I was saying the fire keeps on burning. So I was saying it to you, Uba, that this fire, let the fire keep on burning. And it's funny how 
I can relate to that song now, even with the issue going on in Nairobi right now, with the protests going on for the past few weeks. I've been in, I've been in Kenya for a few months now, with the protests going on. Zombie is that song telling you that whatever is going on, we're going to keep the fire burning. We're going to keep the fire burning with the youths. Now, on the song, I said something. I said that, you don't think we're scared. You get But we have to come because we believe in the government. But if you guys want to whine us, like the Nigerians say, if you guys want to let us know that what we have to say doesn't matter, they will come out and the fire will keep burning. So you see, Zombie is on the EP. I recorded EP a while back. And it relates with what's going on in Nairobi right now. Or in Kenya right now. All so the you see, Gen Z's Mali, yeah, so Mali's music is everybody's music. Everybody. You know, oh God. Oh. Shots. Oh my. Shots. On mic. <laughs> and also, uh, last thing, uh, you be in Kenya. You, you be coming, going, coming, going. But I know there are some of artists you've realized that we would like to Ooh. work with. Ooh. Who are the artists? So the first act, act, artist I would like to work with. Sorry, I've been drinking. So uh, I'm saying this out there. So Karun. Karun was a Kampula. Yes. Um, she's dope. She's dope. She's amazing. And you know the funny thing? Uh -huh. um, the director that shot It's All Right. Mm -hmm. Um, his name is Gatei. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Gatei, fantastic director. In fact, I love Gatei because he's very patient. In fact, I cannot just say these things on camera, but mm -hmm. I I appreciate Gatei because he has been very patient with me, mm -hmm. right? So Gatei shot it's all right, and he shot two more videos that are coming out. And Gatei is the one that shoots for Karun. Like la the last three videos she dropped off her project was shot by Gatei. Mm -hmm. You get. I want to work with Gatei. Sorry, I want to work with Karun. Gatei, you shoot my videos, you shoot Karun's videos. I don't know how I'm going to make you work, man. You link yeah. us up. Link us link up. Us Me up. too. Then obviously, obviously, Bien. Bien. You know, Bien is the... Bien, Bien, Bien was Bien. in Nigeria a few weeks ago. It was at Obi's house um, in, in, in VI. Yeah. You know, Bien is, Bien is fantastic. I want to work with Bien, you know. He's, you know Bien, Bien is top-notch, you know. And um, I also want to work with... Um, Nikita, is it Nikita Kerin? Nikita Kerin. Nikita Kerin. Yeah. She's fantastic. There's this song, oh, there's this song that she dropped, was it three years ago, two years ago? Her voice is, is, is just crazy. Ex, my ex? Then there's a, uh, is, the, is it Yashinsky? Yashinsky. Yeah. I feel like Yashinsky is, is the guy now. Yeah. He's the guy. Yeah. And there's Major. Is it Major or Major? Major. Ma or Konko. That guy. That's the same. That guy is just, he's an artist, but there's something about his yeah. visuals, there's something yeah. about him. So I like to work with those guys, you know, and if they are watching this right now, you know, yeah. you know, I'm ready, you know. And okay, let, let me say this, you know, because I also make hip hop music. Obviously, Calligraph Jones, you know what I'm saying? Calligraph Jones, you know. I like to work with Calligraph Jones too. Calligraph Jones, you're seeing this, you know. Last thing you like to say on the camera about you, yeah. your music. Yeah. Um. So, um. hello world, my name is DP Mali. Um, Mali Music is out, the first among three projects coming up before the end of the year. Um, all I want to say is, um, my friends know, I talk about self, self-love, self-awareness, self-choices. I don't know if that makes sense, you know. But in this world, before anything, we're all individuals, right? So make sure yourself is, is fulfilled. Make sure you're doing what you want to do. Make sure you eat what you want to eat. You drink what you want to drink. You don't make people make you make decisions that you don't want to make. So... At the end of the day, I'm preaching self. Okay, so Mali music is everybody's music. Mali music is my music, is your music. So it's self-love.